from Australia, I'm Matt, and this is a new friend of mine that I met about five minutes ago at the front of my place. It's Leo. Leo from Rio in Brazil. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I literally just finished my breakfast and walked out to our, uh, our front yard, and Leo is sleeping in this amazing van at the front of our place. And how cool, the, one of the best things I saw is his roof. Yeah. It's like you have little things where you can... Take yeah. it like little covers where you can take it off the roof and see the stars while you're sleeping. Yeah, that was the, the reason why we bought the van because you know we got a lot of van styles and you can you can get the tallest one, a high, yeah. higher roof or smallest one. Yeah. But th that one was perfect because you know you feel it's an event, right? And you feel like oh, I'm in a short and a small space, but when you see the stars and everything like the sky and you feel like more comfortable and yeah, that's true. you don't be bent like that so you feel like oh yeah you can you look up and you can be anywhere yeah, yeah. yeah that's and true. you can open and the wind can come in that's good so how, are you traveling here by yourself or are you no i travel with my wife oh ah, cool yeah so the two of you living in the van yeah oh wow yeah. and you've been i think you said before two months in two months yeah. in byron bay two months in byron bay two years in australia Two years in Australia. Yeah. Oh wow. Yeah. So, so you've had that van for for two nah, years. No, the van we just bought it and we bought it in January. Okay. And then we we built up everything and then now we started traveling. Okay. And this is the first trip Byron Bay from Adelaide to Byron Bay. Yeah. And then we maybe go to Western Australia. Yeah. Yeah. After so you started in Adelaide. In Adelaide, yeah. where we lived before, and then Byron, and after that. See After what here, happened. yeah, see what happened. Yeah, keep traveling. What What were you doing in Adelaide? Were you, were you working there? Oh or? yeah, because she's from Adelaide. My wife is from Adelaide. Oh, she's and Australian. Yeah, she's Australian. Oh, right. Yeah. How and did then, How did you meet her? Oh, she went in Brazil cycling. Yeah. Yeah, and then she went to Rio. She went from São Paulo to Rio cycling, and I saw her in Rio cycling. Cycling like yeah. by herself. Yeah, she took her bike from here to Brazil, no and she way. said, "Yeah, I'm gonna go to a new." adventure you know <laughs> and she went there she went there with the bike and i said oh, that's amazing man i always wanted to do this and how did and you meet her like you just saw her cycling one day oh yeah or? there was a reggae reggae gig and someone was playing and then it was a beautiful night and someone friend of her friend from australia met some of my friend in brazil and you know, it just happened to... Wow, it went from there. Yeah. So how long ago was this? When did, when did uh, you... It's been 2012, it's been three years. It's been three years. Two years married. No, yeah. what a cool story! <laughs> it is. <laughs> <laughs> no way! So she did she keep cycling after you met? Or oh, did no, she... Yeah, she she went from some, originally from Sao Paulo to Rio. And then we met and she spent a week with me. Yeah. And then she kept going to Minas, which is like inland a little bit further and then she went back to my house yeah. and then she spent the whole time with me and then she got back because her visa expired. Expired, yeah. Expired. It's a bit, I think they only give us like, I don't know, a few months over there, Australians to travel yes, in, in Brazil. three months and it's the same, yeah. you know, Australian in Brazil is like three months, yeah. uh, tourist visa and then you can reapply for three months. Okay, yeah. so she had to come back here and then did you follow her? Or? Yeah, what happened is, yeah, when she came back, I was I kept working there in my my life, and I said, "Oh, no, I, I want to go cycling. I, I want to do it." And then I bought the ticket, and I told the work, and I told my family and everything else. How? What so, did they say? You found oh it? man, you crazy! <laughs> <laughs> I'm packing up. I'm going to Australia. You don't to go know how to speak English. You don't know. You haven't cycled <laughs> before. You don't have money. You don't have anything. How are you gonna do it? No you, way. How can you just trust and you know someone you just met? Yeah. And I said, "No, nah, she's." Had a good feeling. Yeah, I got a, I had a good feeling. Yeah. Jeez. Man, that is amazing. Yeah. So you'd only known each other like what a couple of months or not yeah, even. Yeah, a couple of four months together, six yeah. months apart. Yeah. And then we got married. 
<laughs> yeah. That is an amazing story. Yeah. And so what, you said that your English wasn't great when no, you met I her? No, I couldn't speak English and she couldn't speak Portuguese either. It was like, uh, my, po- my English was high. Uh, I understand English, but I didn't <laughs> understand. <laughs> you know, it was just that. No way. Yeah. Unbelievable. Yeah. So it was just like a lot of sign language. Yeah, yeah, it was like everything. And then she said, no, don't speak English. Don't try. I want to speak Portuguese. And I said, no, that's fine. In four months, she, she learned no Portuguese. Well, enough fluent. to like have a conversation like this? No, or? she's fluent. No accent at all. You're yeah. kidding. In four months? In four months. That is unbelievable. And everyone that, when I introduce her to someone, my friends, they say, where are you from in Brazil? And she said, no, I'm from Australia. You're kidding. I'm from here, yeah. No Brazilian way. friends, yeah. And there's uh, some people, like every now and then you meet people that just seem to have that that ability, that knack to pick up languages, yeah. huh? Oh, she's really good, yeah. For four months, that's incredible. Four months, yeah. Wow. Okay, so now you're here. Yeah. You've been here for two years. What's the plan? What are you... Oh, yeah, the next plan is we're going to stay in Byron for a while and enjoy the life. Cause yeah. Because lifetime by is really good. But will you go back to Brazil or you stay then, in Australia? No, or? next in the end of next year, I reckon we're going to to Asia, Southeast Asia by bike, okay. push bike as well. Yeah. And then back to Brazil because I've got my family, and then come back to Australia and then see what happens. Oh man, this sounds <laughs> like a, just the start of an amazing story. Huh? Yeah, it is. <laughs> it's just a start. Yeah. You'd have like that option of the dream lifestyle, living like half a year here and half a year in Brazil, yeah. or. Yeah, okay. different lifestyle as well. Like traveling by pushback is totally different because yeah. you just have a tent and things that you can carry. Otherwise, gets too heavy, and the life changes. Yeah. The van as well, life changes. And then when we go back to Brazil, we might rent a house and yeah, you know, each part of the journey is a little bit yeah. different. Yeah, huh? yeah. It's cool though, go traveling around by bicycle. I reckon is that satisfaction you get from getting to a, one place to another. By your own, you yeah. know, like through your own body. Your, your own, own power. Yeah, yeah, your own power. It. Exactly, exactly. I love it. And man, your, your English is, is amazing. Oh, thank you. <laughs> How have you, because I guess if she speaks Portuguese, it would have been difficult to um, yeah. to practice your English. Yeah, that was the main thing because uh, a few months ago I told her, Cozy, we need to start speaking English because we just speak Portuguese. Yeah. And uh, having, uh, you know, how do you say it? it's it's been hard for me to to speak with other people at, or at work or something like this sure and she said oh that's okay but then we came to Byron Bay there's a lot of Brazilians and we started speaking Portuguese again and I said oh that's all right that's why it's hard isn't it you have yeah. to really sort of put yourself in that situation where yeah. like she did when she's in Brazil yeah she where she you've decided. got no other option and yeah. you have to use it yeah but here it's fine otherwise you know you, you can you can speak with a lot of people from everywhere, yeah. And in the main language is English, but you have to really, you want if you want it. You, yeah, you, you can do it. You can. You do have it. to really want to do it. Yeah, and try, that's true. Yeah? That's true. As I, we were talking just before we turned the camera on, and um, Leo was using a couple of Australian phrases like <laughs> "awesome," and "no way," and things like that. And you really do. You have to sort of, I guess, put yourself in a situation where you're speaking with local people and. I think once you start, once you get to that point where you can start a conversation, yeah. you're always learning something new and you can yeah. use it. Yeah, for me, it's like to get the, uh, to get the language, it's not that hard because you can, you understand, you pick it up some words, even if you don't speak them, but you, you understand them. Yeah. But to get the accent and get fluently, you have to sort of understand the the way the rhythm of the words and the way that the people live yeah and spend some time in the country is, is so important too i guess well that's the best part of learning a language isn't yeah. it meeting the people and experiencing yeah. different culture and yeah and you're doing it on a bicycle how cool yeah is that? <laughs> yeah that's <laughs> awesome man. man what an amazing yeah, story so, yeah I need, really I need really more. cool yeah. it sounds like a book or a, or a yeah, movie it, huh? yeah maybe yeah <laughs> we, we've been writing these things and filming and really know, yeah but you know, we didn't. I didn't have time to, to edit it. How yeah, edit it, it edit and put it, it all yeah. together. Yeah. yeah, it'd be an amazing thing to have. Like, you know, a couple of years down the track, you'd be able to look back on what you've written oh, yeah, and then the videos and yeah. go, what an amazing uh, yeah. experience it was. Awesome, that would be awesome. Because <laughs> we've done that as well by motorbike from Adelaide to here. We by motorbike. Been, yeah. So you motorbike. bought a motorbike? Yeah. No, a friend of mine. We borrowed the motorbike. Yeah, a friend of mine from uh, Inverell. He 
we bought his motorbike. Yeah. And then we came from Adelaide too. We were going to Cairns, but we stopped in Byron and that was it. That was it. <laughs> you stuck here like a lot yeah. of other people. Yeah. <laughs> Man, it sounds like an amazing journey and it's only just beginning. Yes. Man, nice to meet you, huh? Nice Thanks to meet you. Thanks very much for coming in. No worries. Guys, don't forget to check out www.g'dayfromaustralia.com where you can get a transcription of the conversation here today with Leo. And check out a whole heap of other episodes we've done chatting with other friends about completely different stuff. Have a good day. See you later. <laughs>